Hey everybody, it's Bree. This is my contest entry for Natural 85's big goodie basket giveaway. You want to know what I use on my hair? Alright, let's go. I use my ABBA Pure Moisture Sulfate Free Vegan Shampoo. It's the only shampoo I use. I've been using it for about a year now. I like it a lot. Very minty, tingly. Great. On to the deep conditioners. Newest product. Mix Silk. It's the Silk Elements Sally brand knockoff to Mix Chicks. Never tried Mix Chicks, but I like Mix Silk. The deep conditioner has great slip. Detangles awesomely. Washout conditioners. There are a lot of them. Oh, other deep conditioner. Aussie 3 Minute Miracle. I've never detangled with this. But it smells great. It works good as a deep conditioner. Hmm. I guess I'll start with my favorite washout conditioner, Trader Joe's Nourish Spa. Awesome. Second favorite, I've never heard anybody talking about this ever, probably the only one, Ulta Brand Ultimate Moisture. It's so thick. And it really does leave my hair really moisturized. Like, if I flat iron my hair and I put this in there before and wash it out, my hair is too heavy. Like, it's, you feel the moisture on your hair even after you wash it out. It's great. So today I bought Ultimate Smooth from Ulta because I didn't have any more Ultimate Moisture. I was kind of disappointed. I don't know. We'll see how I like this one. What else do I have? Herbal essences, long term relationship, smells awesome. Then everybody talks about this, so I bought it. BFI moisture milk. It's in passion fruit. It smells amazing, but it's not my favorite conditioner. Like it's very loose and watery. I like thicker conditioners. But it's alright. It's like 79 cents. Then I have my John Frieda Frizzies Hydrating Smooth Start Conditioner and Repairing Smooth Start Conditioner. These are great too. Thick. like them. They smell good too. I think everything I have smells good. If it doesn't, I probably wouldn't be showing you right now. Um, when I flat iron my hair, I just dropped that on my computer. I use Silk by BioSilk. It was Silk Therapy by BioSilk. I also have the shampoo and the conditioner to the line too, but I don't know where it is right now. We moved and it's somewhere. But this is great. When I flat iron, it's really light and high shine. Leaves my really glossy and pretty. Haven't used it on my natural hair because my olive oil and coconut oil gets me shiny enough. Then, oh, I guess this would be back to deep conditioners, but I did the Apogee protein treatment a few weeks ago. I like it. I mean, it smells horrible. Horrible. I don't know when I'm going to do it again. It really smells bad. But everybody was talking about it, said it was good, so tried it. Next, next, next.
my oils. This is my own personal private mix. I have some ABBA leave-in conditioner in here. Barely any though. Like the same brand as my <clears throat> shampoo. And I have some olive oil. And I have castor oil in here. And I also use this just on my scalp after I wash. And the major ingredient that's in here, coconut oil. Yes, this thing is huge. It's like my face, but it's big. Coconut oil, it's awesome. It's pure. It's like the kind you cook with. So, you know, it's great. You can eat it, so, you know, it's good for my hair, right? Then the Mix Silk by Silk Elements leave-in conditioner. This smells clean too. It smells exactly like the deep conditioner. And I don't know how this is for detangling because to be honest, by the time I use it, my hair is perfectly detangled. So... But it has really good slips, so I'm guessing it would be great. And my hair, hair feels light and bouncy. It's in my hair right now. Just sprayed out. I didn't even use my um, oil mix to seal it or anything. Because I just want to see how it's going to work by itself. And it works good. Then, on my scalp with... BGB, Brenda's Glory Builder. I got this from a salon in Chicago. Thanks to my cousin, the hairstylist. Never heard anybody talk about that either, though. But this is my little secret. Then I style Garnier Fructis. It's like wash and go. Or La Coupe. This smells like I could eat it. Oh, it smells good. And it does make my hair hard. Like, it's a curl sculpting cream. And this doesn't really make my hair hard either, but I prefer this. And John Frieda Dream Curls. I like this too. It doesn't really make my hair hard, but... The spiral style curl defining gel does make my hair hard. I also have the um, this one, the wet gel. It kind of makes my hair hard too, though, but not. It's not horrible. But the John Frieda stuff, all their stuff smells really good too. It's really good for curly girls like me. And I don't. I guess I'll show you my tools. Have my handy dandy Denman, of course, because everybody said it was great, so I bought it. <laughs> Shower comb, rat tail, shower caps, of course. Deep conditioning, or if I'm just, you know, don't want to get my hair wet in the shower, they're great and cheap. And I also take fish oil for my scalp. Helps it not be dry. And I guess that'll be the end of my video. Um, yeah, I have a lot of stuff. But now I'm 5 I love your videos. And I really hope I win that basket. I really need some shea butter. Because as you can see, I have none. Anyway... Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.